Hello everyone, it is your boy Injury Siberian here today bringing you guys a wonderful video. I know I'm talking really fast and I'm very sorry. I am very sorry, but welcome to Injury Siberian Productions. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of coffee and a lot of Red Bull actually. Pretty sure I might have a heart attack pretty soon. Nope, my heart is just racing really, really fast. Alright guys, so back to the whole gaming thing. Uh, as you guys can see, I've been spending a lot of time figuring stuff out, writing scripts, as you guys can see all right here. And, uh, yeah, I've been just writing a lot of scripts. Uh, yeah. And if you guys have been... If, wait. What is... Okay, I don't know why it's like that. But there's one script not in here. And it's... There's a reason why it's not in there. And I will be showing you guys it shortly. So, like I said, guys, I was going to be making my own start menu or my own like you know the menu so i have created that and you know we're gonna maximize on play so what i've done is i've created my own little scene thing and you guys are gonna be able to see boom what is going on is that stars what there is stars out there are you kidding me what in the world is going on and i haven't worked out the whole thing but during nighttime yeah, you can't really, you can see it, I like that because during the night time, yes, oh, I'm sorry guys, by the way, yes, I do have a day and night cycle, yes, I do have a day and night cycle, how wonderful is that, and I love how the grass in the background is just constant, like, it's just green, like, watch, watch, it is just really green in the background, it's like the only fucking thing you can see in the night time is just how green the grass is. It's getting night time. Everything is black except for the grass. Yep, the grass is just really green and that tree is lighting up for some reason. I have no clue, I have no under, okay, but you know, I have to play a game and just to show you guys how well this works, I can click that and it's gonna be like, are you sure you want to quit? Because I know some games don't have this and you accidentally hit the exit button and it quits the game you're like, Oh, are you kidding me? Now I have to load up the game again? I didn't even get to save. So I put this in as a type of thing. So it's like you accidentally click it and it's like, are you sure you want to quit? And you're like, oh my God, I'm so glad this, this popped up. No, I'm not ready to quit yet. And then you can just hit play game. And I don't have a scene actually, I don't have the game actually running. I don't have a set scene for it, but I do have a character. This is my character creation. And oh, what is going on? Oh, my clamp's not working. I'm gonna have to go back in the script and edit that. But you know, as you can see, the animation of the character. So, as you guys know, I'm not that great with Unity and script writing. I'm not awesome at it. I'm not the greatest. I'm not the best. So, it's gonna take me a while to do some things, get to, to learn how to do them and do them the right way and stuff and what to do. So, I've been using the uh, Unity reference thing a lot. I like literally just use it all the time uh and i put animations in for him for you know blah 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 but i don't really have animations for side to side i don't they're not working but if i do go like this they work i don't understand i don't know if any of you guys have any idea of how to get this to work the right way please let me know okay uh, I don't have a sprint button function. I don't have a jump button. I don't have a pick interaction button to enter anything So yeah, that's what I've been working on and uh, I do want to show you guys my uh, The day and night cycle, so we're gonna go ahead and save this scene and we're gonna go ahead and open scene and I'm gonna open up the scene where my game is actually gonna be on so we'll open up this and this is the day and night cycle and we'll go on to the sun and uh, zoom in on it and before oh I did have it still set to here but this is what it does and you can see the intensity over here to the right as it plays oh I don't have a camera I don't want you to maximize on play gosh because I still want to see the inspector it's testing it out and as you play as it's going, the intensity is gonna should drop, and right when it becomes nighttime, the intensity is gonna drop. It should. If not, I have to go back into the script. And yeah, it's nighttime. Intensity drops. 
and let's go out and I got the stars going look at all them stars to sunrise oh look at the beautiful sun the sun is out and the reason why the stars are always out it goes along with the whole story of the game so yeah you gotta play the game to understand the whole story so it's gonna be like a survival game but there's gonna be key factors in this thing like let's say I find something and I, I, I do something with it it's gonna create a little something that's gonna happen into the world and it's gonna change your world it's gonna change how everything interacts in the world and stuff like that so I have very great expectations for this game and soon I'm thinking like once this game is done I'm gonna be working on the whole multiplayer and working on that that's gonna be the second at the second like it's going to evolve and I, I want the game to evolve and it's going to evolve very frequently I want a single player game so that you don't only have to play multiplayer because there's times where people have to travel they don't have access to the internet or the greatest of internet so they're like you know what I just want to play a game and I don't even care from playing with my friends I just want to play a cool game so bam I like to have that single player feel to it and then also a multiplayer feel that way, you know, if you're not great at multiplayer, you go ahead and single player and get better at the game, and then go ahead and play multiplayer, and then your stats are, like, awesome. Stuff like that. So, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to doing. But back into the character modelization and what I did. Let's go to open scenes. Blah, blah, blah. Open scene, open scene. No, not characters. Scenes. What am I doing today? Character creator. And we're going to go ahead and go up front to see our character. And... Boom. I don't know why the sun is like, why the directional light is like right above them. Has it been like that? There is no day and night cycle on this scene at all, just because this is just what I've been using to create my character and basically getting all the scripts to work the right way that there should be right working. Uh, fixing stuff like how he's floating in the air and stuff like that, which I just got to do work, move stuff around and all that good stuff. Yeah, so I got a lot of that going on. Uh, but yeah, so, so far so good. He has a walking animation. I love it. I'm going to be giving a sprint one and, uh, you know, pretty much he has, uh, I believe he has a jump one. So if not, I can already, I can go ahead and make that real quick, but not really real quick, but I can make that. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is the game in a nutshell. So what have we got done so far? Well, we have our start menu. We don't have any settings as of right now. I'm going to be working on the settings to get those in. That's going to be a longer thing because there's a lot that goes into it. A lot more than the start menu. So a lot more buttons and a whole other canvas to work with on that one. So how to incorporate it with the first one. Uh, you know what? It doesn't even have to be a really big one. I can, you know, it can be pretty, it can be done. It's going to be easy actually. Uh, and then also, let me show you guys the scripts. Um, I do want to put that main menu script in there. So, I mean, the day and night script in there so you guys can see that. And yeah, whatever, yes. All right, so here's the day and night cycle script. So I have all these variables, minutes in the day. So it actually represents, you know, 24 hour cycles. So if you want it to be as realistic as possible, I can. I can put 60 minutes in a day. Right now it's going off one minute per one minute in a day, but I don't have to edit anything in the script because it's all public. Let's go ahead and save that. I don't know what it's doing, but and then I have the timer that grabs the timer at the start, which is right here, and in the update it's going to check the time and all the other. I have that in the debug log, so that I can monitor how long it's taking and get the best effect out of it. And then we have everything that's grabbing to get the light component. So, like, I grab the light, and what that's saying is this: it's grabbing the component that is the light, the whatever, whatever source of light your your scene is using at the moment. You're gonna put that into the script. So, my sun, my sun is the light. So, basically, it's gonna have a spot out here for me to grab the sun. So we can go ahead and. It'd help if I open up another scene. That actually has the day and night cycle on it. So open scene. Just a better give you guys an example of it. Some of you guys probably already know what it is, so yeah. Alright, so the sun. The sun's gonna have that day and night script. 
So, here's the script and all that good stuff. But, huh. come up to light. So, oh, I don't even have it. Wow, that wasn't even playing up. That's right. Let me see. Huh, I didn't even have the sun put in there. Sun's going up, going up, going up, going down, going down to sunset. Look at that sunset. So, yeah, I hope you guys got a really good, I hope you guys got a really, like, a good inspiration from this video. Um... My game is going pretty fine. It's going pretty good, actually. It's going really good. I ran into a few bugs and all that good stuff, but I'm not going to let that set me back. No, I'm not. I'm not going to let it set me back. I'm just going to keep on... Oops, I almost opened up a new project. Not good. But, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, all these... Me coming up and, you know, overcoming these difficulties is just letting me know, letting it know that, you know, I'm the better man here. So, yeah, I'm the better man. I didn't even do it in here. And then we have our stars. So if you guys want to see the stars, I'm in the ocean. What? The, why am I always in the freaking ocean? I don't know. But we're gonna go see. Doesn't even matter. It done 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 done. Whoa. Select. There it is. It's just basically a sphere. It's a particle system and a sphere and yeah that's basically like boom the galaxy right there right there the galaxy let's go and see it we're gonna visit the galaxy okay what what what, what the heck is all this what i just i just can't see the 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 galaxy not death island what the hell okay okay so yeah uh so far the game you know there's my fonts i love the fonts the fonts are pretty awesome so I'm actually really liking them a whole lot. So, and then as I, I, I as I hover over them, it highlights my different color, which is actually pretty cool. I love the fact that it's awesome. So, it just lets you guys know the game's working. So, next thing that I'm going to be working on is actually going to create a scene for the game itself, which was that game scene. I created the day and night cycle. And as you can see, the different color stars, there's like bluish and whitish and all that good stuff. So, it's like a myth, uh, mystical type thing. So, it kind of goes with the aspect of the game. Uh, and I will leave you, I'll give you guys another update, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, I should have a lot more done. I've been literally working on this, probably been working on it for about almost, I think three days I've been working on. This is three days of work. So pretty much, I'm pretty good at doing this right now. I'm not really, I'm not really good. You know, you know, I'm not, I'm not pretty decent at it. I've been doing a whole lot of it, so it really doesn't even matter. But if I simulate it, I can simulate. I can just stop it. So I'm probably gonna be. I don't like how you can see the stars during the daylight. But I know I told you guys it's part of the storyline, but I want it to be happening at a certain time to where you can actually start seeing the stars. So I might work on a script that actually turn in the day and night cycle that actually turns the particle system off. So yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. By all means. And I will leave my email address in the description for those of you guys who want to contact me and let me know how I'm doing if you don't feel like you want to comment or um, if you don't feel like you want to comment you just want to actually congratulate me you can actually message me on YouTube itself I will reply to anyone and everyone so yeah all I can say is guys keep your day safe and have fun out there play video games because guess what video games are life they're literally made up of games that they're literally games that are made up of real life things that happen in the world like history or just basically fiction. If it's fiction, it has real life movements or anything like that. It has real life activity in it. So all I gotta say is guys, stay safe out there and you know what? Gamers unite, man. Gamers unite.
Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.